Hi guys, hope you're all well. Just thought I'd bob on and say hello. Not uh, done it for a while, have I? And it's just come past like 18 months since I started the channel. Um, and I do like bobbing on and saying hi. You can see me mush. You may have noticed the blonde's gone. Yeah, way too much trouble having them highlights and things. So I've gone back to my own uh, reddy brown colour. Looking a bit pale, but when you're watching this, I'll probably be on a beach in Turkey because I'm going away tomorrow um, for a deserved break and a bit of sunshine and relaxation and maybe an odd cocktail or two. I've got my bucket of coffee as normal. Uh, yeah, guys, um, I've just made a few notes. Um, where people have asked me questions in the comments and stuff. Um, oh, before I start as well, guys, I'm not one for begging you for subscriptions and likes and stuff, but I really would be grateful. I noticed in my analytics that about 48% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Um, so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, could you please click the button? You don't have to, of course, guys, nobody has to do. Uh, but it's that um, interaction that helps. Um, so commenting, liking, even disliking, um, all that interaction helps. And I do try and um, answer your questions. Uh, I always try and answer everybody's comments. Even if somebody just does a thumbs up, I'll, you know, answer and I'm always available on Facebook, guys. Um, I've reopened my group. Um, I'd shut it down because it was getting a bit bonkers uh, with too many people in. But we've had a few people coming and going and things like that. So I've opened it back up again. If you want to go join the links in the description. Uh, was that it? I think that was it. But yeah, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, guys, it would be amazing. I'm nearly at 6,000 sub now, subs now, which is pretty good going, isn't it? Um, and I'm hoping before Christmas um, to get half a million views. Um, I'm not far off at the minute. Um, so that would be really lovely as well, guys. If you could help me out. Right, I'll shut up because I don't, I'm not one for blowing my own trumpet. But... I just thought I'd say that. Okay, so I've had people ask me a few different questions. So, um, why do I have a channel? Why do I even bother? <laughs> well, if you don't know the tale, um, I've always had a YouTube channel. I used to do other things on it, mixed media and things. Uh, and then one, I hadn't done it for a while though. And one day I've made a pendant and I made a little video to show how I'd done it and uh, it got deleted from the group um, because you weren't supposed to show your own videos uh, and I've, I apologise profusely of course because I didn't realise at the time and so I thought oh well I'll just do a YouTube and then people asked me would I show them how I'd done something else and it just blew up from there really um, so yeah in my old videos you'll see it says paint on my pyjamas and that was my um, mixed media blog, vlog, if you like. Um, and I changed it to Clay along with Catherine just so it was a bit more fitting. Uh, and I think that was about six or seven months ago now. Uh, and yeah, guys, I don't even call them tutorials. I just like the idea that you can grab a coffee, sit down and make something with me at the same time. You know, I don't put music in. I don't cut bits out to shorten the videos. The video length is what the video length is. You know, sometimes I do, if I'm doing a lot of chopping, I'll speed the chopping up and stuff because nobody wants to sit and watch that, do they? Um, so, yeah, and in that vein, guys, I wouldn't purposely go out to make shorter videos. Um, and I know myself from personal experience, and from other polls that other groups have done. Um, like the um, British Guild for Paul McClay did a poll uh, recently. 
asking um, would, pe would people be interested in the little TikTok type uh, and I know um, you know a few other people have commented to me that they don't want a three or five or sometimes ten minute quick video with a load of music playing in the background they want to sit down and and you know play along or be taught something or you know whatever so that's why I don't really do shorter videos as I've said if it's a short video it's because that's how long it takes to make it I've not purposely gone out my way to make little videos uh, and I know some of my videos can be quite long uh, but again I do it because people tell me that they you know grab a coffee sit down and it's like I'm in the room with them which is the experience I want to kind of share with people if that makes sense um so yeah that was that guys um and so a few other people have asked me about um how long I spend in the studio and how long it takes to produce a video um so I'll just explain to you quickly um say the video's half an hour long that you see that's probably taken about three hours to film because I've got to prep my materials first then I start filming then when I pause and say I'll be back in a second I'm probably half an hour because I'm waiting for something to cool waiting for something to bake um conditioning clay in between things like that so it could take about three hours um maybe a bit more it just depends on how involved it is and then i uh, i've got to upload it to my pc i do everything on my pc uh not on my phone or anything um so i upload it to my pc then it uh i edit it so i might snip it irrelevant little bits of babble out sometimes when I've gone off on a tangent um, and of course I put my intro in and things like that and add title uh, you know my little scrolly titles and things as you do uh, and then that can take about 20 minutes to convert into the right format for YouTube um, and then I upload it to YouTube which doesn't take very long for it to physically upload but then I've got the titles, the screenshots, um, you know what materials I've used all has to be physically typed in um, and then what used to happen was you had to wait 24 hours for the text of your speech to be uploaded to YouTube so that I could do my subtitles properly but uh, they've obviously tweaked something and that's available straight away now so I can do my subtitles as soon as I've done the video and it's uploaded I can do my subtitles and that's just me going through everything I've said double checking it hasn't mixed any words up like um, one of my favourites is when I say Mukume Gane, for some reason or other, um, YouTube bots think I'm saying monkey gardening. So yeah, it thinks I'm monkey gardening, which is hilarious. So I've got to go through and check um, little words, like it picks me up when I say my, my this, my that. It always says me. And it's obviously my accent, so it thinks I'm saying me. So I've got to go through and do that. Put a bit of punctuation in and everything. That can take up to an hour, dependent on how much babble I've babbled. Um, so yeah, it can take all day, guys, um, to get a video ready. And then, of course, most of mine is scheduled. I don't just press go and it's, it's there with you. I know a lot of people do do that. I don't like doing that. I like to make sure everything's okay and it's settled and there's not, because there's checks they do on your language and everything. Um, so um, I tend to not post the same day. It can be up to a week later. So like I say, you're watching this now and I'm. this is Thursday the 7th. 
uh, and you're probably not going to see this till next week now so I'm normally a week in advance with my videos um, but yeah guys so yeah one video half an hour we're talking from start to finish that it's ready for you to see it probably about six hours uh, some people probably do it a hell of a lot quicker some people don't bother with subtitles and stuff do they so that's my choice you know I want to just make sure they're, they're nice and they're okay and the subtitles work because I've got people from all over the world you know Thailand and obviously all over Europe Australia America but a lot of people that the first language isn't um, English so I just like to make sure that people are included um, and I do get some lovely messages uh, from people all over the world so thank you um, for taking the time to do that leave me a message and things I can always translate guys so never worry um, about typing in your you know your native language it takes two seconds to translate it I can just right click it and it'll translate it for me um, and then I can you know write back and if you're watching this and you're struggling because I don't do your subtitle um, just let me know in the comments you know which language you'd like it translating to because once I've done the initial work it takes five seconds to add another language because it auto translates it for me then uh, I just have to sel physically select the language I think I do about 22 now um, so yeah that's that's another point guys if it isn't in your native tongue I'm more than happy to switch more subtitles on if you need that right I'll shut up because I've babbled about that for a while haven't I right shorter videos Da, 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 da. I'm still getting questions about my egg poacher, which is amazing, isn't it? 18 months later, people are still saying, what's that green thing? Let me just grab the... the I got them out. They're just egg poachers, guys. Now, I know some of you bought some off Amazon and they were a bit flimsy. Now, you can either put two together to make them a bit sturdier, but these... These are re really quite thick, can you see? Really quite sturdy ones. Um, but they're just egg poachers, guys. And I also use these, which are like a silver egg. And they're called steel soaps. They're actually from the kitchen for getting onion and garlic smells off, apparently. But I've not used it in the kitchen. But they're just nice for getting a gentle dome, aren't they? Um, so... You know, they're readily available on Amazon and the such. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, yeah, when I was talking about dislikes in the last video, um, somebody mentioned, well, why don't you just turn them off? Because, uh, you know, people do turn them off, don't they? So you can't see how many likes or dislikes somebody's got on their videos. And I can still see them, guys. If I turn them off in YouTube Studio where I go to do stuff, um, I can still see who's liked and disliked it. So it makes no odds, does it, whether I've got it turned on or off. Um, so I'll, I just don't bother and I leave it on. And if people don't like it, then they don't like it. And that's fine. As I've said before, I've got a thick skin and not everybody's going to like you know, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, am I? Um, and I seem to, well, I get a hell of a lot more likes than I do dislikes, guys. And again, it doesn't really bother me. So, um, you know, why? People would probably ask why I've turned them off. Am I, are you getting so many dislikes that you don't want us to see? I don't know. But I'll leave, you, I'll leave that there. You know how I feel about it. I haven't had any trolley comments, guys, for a while. That's really good. Um, I did have a couple a few months ago. Um, but they were, like, a bit random. I, like, they didn't make sense, even to the video I'd done. Uh, so I think it was just somebody random trolling. I don't know. They just got deleted and stuff. Um, but fingers crossed. Um... 
I've not had any even snarky comments um, lately, uh, which is good. And again, constructive criticism, guys, is not an issue. You know, that's fine. But when people are like having digs about things, um, you know, like when you've, I've got a sore throat, um, I apologise for being croaky and somebody moans about you clearing your throat or coughing, then, you know, get a grip. Um, it's like you've never cough, coughed or sniffled in your life. Um, and don't watch, just go away and don't watch it if, you, if I'm so annoying because I've gone once in half an hour. Uh, but yeah, luckily I've not had any funny comments of late. So that's good, isn't it, guys? Um, oh yeah, pasta machine. A few people have asked me about what pasta machine I use. Now it is in my description. Again, guys, I put so much information in my description for you. Links to all the tools and the cutters. Uh, my, my machine is an Atlas 150. I've taken, it's there behind me if you can see. I've taken, oh, where is it there? I've taken the outside guards off and I have wrong side calf. I have a machine on mine. Uh, very, very lucky to have one. Uh, but they do come in handy if you can afford one. So yeah, I've got an Atlas. Um, I used to have just a cheapy one. Uh, it's actually over there in the corner. Um, and that worked a treat. It's just, um, I had some sperm on it. And I... Um, treat myself to the atlas and then my husband bought me the machine for christmas or birthday because it is an expense isn't it and i understand that um you know especially if you start new and starting out um it's a lot of money to be forking out if you're not too sure is it but i can highly recommend the atlas guys and i can highly recommend the mortar that goes with it um i don't think i've got any other questions but i have had a few questions about do i only make jewelry now i'm sure i've mentioned i've talked about this before um so if i have apologies but i can't remember if i did or i didn't and i wasn't going through my old chats to see uh, but i have done a little bit of other stuff but not a great deal guys and if you've watched my little spooky earrings video I think it's blatantly obvious that I'm not a modeler. They were just for a bit of fun, guys, honestly. Um, just for Halloween. I'd noticed lots of people doing pumpkins and things in group, uh, across the board in different groups. And I just thought I'd join in with some little ghost earrings. If you haven't seen that video, go and have a look. It takes 10 minutes and they're really cute. I don't know where they are or I would show you. Um... I did leave them out somewhere, but they've disappeared because I've tied it up. Right, back to modelling. I made a toadstool once. It actually sits on a dish, um, like a trinket dish. Um, and it, it wasn't hard to make, guys. You just think of a toadstool and you do the shape, don't you? I put a little frill on it for a bit of realism. And it's got little things up here and a bit of moss on its stand, which was just green clay pushed through a sieve. Um, because I, I haven't really got any modeling experience, guys. Um, I am doing, I have done, well, I'll show you now. This is Hartley, and he's a bit bashed, sorry. Dexter dropped him, and he got a bit bashed. Uh, but this is Hartley her. <laughs> and I'm, I did this with um, Karen Walker. Um, I did a Zoom um, as part of the British Guild of Polymer Clay. Uh, she did a workshop and we made these little Christmas hairs. Little button on his pocket. They're really cute, aren't they? But yeah, bless him. He's, he's got a little chip here. And he's got a little crack because Dexter dropped him. But he's, he's still on one of his ears is a bit winky wonky. It's just got a bit chipped at the back. But yeah, that's about the extent of my modelling, guys. Um, I am doing another course actually, well course, another Zoom thing with Karen and we're making little Christmas gnomes so I'm quite excited about that because it's good fun, you know, when everybody's in Zoom 
And it's something I have thought about doing, guys, to be fair. I don't know how many of you would be interested. Um, you know, maybe setting up a session on Zoom um, where everybody can join in, you know, and we do a little... Again, I'm, I'm loath to say tutorial, but something we can all make together and um, have a bit of fun with. Um, and I had a massively fabulous time at my... Uh, workshop um and there was only six ladies and me because uh, i wanted to keep it small and um you know rather than a room full of people and it was so successful that i've actually done another and it was sold out by the same ladies wanted to do it again so it's probably going to be uh, after christmas before i advertise doing any more workshops guys uh but uh, yeah i am thinking um, of trying to set some sort of Zoom workshop up. I just need to look into the logistics of it, guys, because it's not something uh, other one signed up with Zoom. I don't have an account or anything, so I need to work out the costs for that and things. Uh, but I, if I do do it, I'll let you know that, you know, so many places are available to, and we're going to be making this, or, you know, you'll, you'll hear about it anyway. Uh, but I think that's all I really wanted to talk about. Yeah, I think I'll leave it there, guys. Just thought I'd bob on and say hello. And I hope you're all well and doing okay. Um, I know a lot of people have been still quite down, haven't they, with this uh, ongoing stuff. I won't say the word. Um, you know, we're lucky now that we are allowed to travel a bit and stuff. Um and most of most of the country's vaccinated um so yeah um i just hope everybody is okay and if you you must reach out i'm always available if anybody is feeling a bit down or a bit fed up there's always somebody around to talk to um i'm available on facebook on messenger lots of ladies um, chit chat to me and stuff and, and it's nice it's nice to have a chat anyway isn't it because I spend a lot of time on my own um, it's just nice having knowing there's somebody there and you can have a moment to uh, but yeah guys I shall leave it there um, hope um, you're not all sulking because I'll be on the beach sunning myself <laughs> oh, I can't wait honestly I cannot wait for somebody who travels to three four times a year it's been a bit hard for me not being able to even go and visit my family never mind um you know go abroad for a holiday or anything oh right guys i've babbled enough lovely to see you all ta-da see you later